And our last speaker, not least, of course, is Rico Remedio. Uh, Rico has success successfully reentered society after serving more than 24 years on a 15 to year life sentence. He was released on parole in July of 2005 and entered Walden House. Since then, he's uh, enrolled in San Francisco City College and is currently participating in an internship program with a nonprofit. And he works in the construction shade, trade. And he's really dedicated to helping people stay out of the system. Rico, I have a question for you. Looking back on your experience as a parolee, what would have made your transition easier? And if you could sort of design an ideal reentry plan, what would it be? Well, first of all, I would like to thank you uh, for inviting me to be part of this event. And I'm honored to be here. Uh, you know, I've been in a system where rehabilitation was uh, practiced and changed into a punishment. And I think the system has long way to bring the rehabilitation back. And uh, I took advantage of that rehabilitation program. You know, I got my high school diploma. I uh, finished two years of college and uh, six years of vocational uh, trade, automotive mechanic. And uh, <clears throat> I've been given, uh, uh, I've been found suitable for parole three times. The third time I was let go. And uh, when I knew, what, when I was getting out, you know, I kept, you know, questioning myself, you know, what I'm going to do out here. And uh, I convinced myself that to give back. It's time to give back to the community. There's so many things out here that I can relate to, especially dealing with gangs and drugs. But it's important for me to, uh, to make a solid plan. I knew that in 25 years, things have changed out here. So I'm trying to find a place where I can, you know, stay for a while and, and uh, make a slow transition back to society. And I met a gentleman named Lee Boone, who is a spokesperson for uh, Walden House. And uh, I did ask him about my intention and plan that I need a place, you know. And it wasn't a problem for him. Uh, my first four or five months out here, I was at Walden House, and they provided me with food, clothing, and shelter, which is the three human needs, you know, to survive out here. And they did more. They did more. While I was in a the program, they have uh, uh, they have classes, you know, uh, like uh, uh, like parenting class, things like that, uh, class about uh, how to uh, deal with your uh, addiction, things like that. Uh, not only that, but, you know, they trained me how to uh, use a the computer. They helped me enroll in school and uh, helped me how to uh, respond to interview and file a you know, job application. And while I was in there, too, uh, I was able to, uh, you know, get my driver's license, California ID, and Social Security uh, card. So when I left the program, you know, you know, I built the foundation to just move on. It wasn't hard for me because, you know, of the things they provided for me. And I think we should have more programs like that out here, you know. And I noticed that, uh, you know, I met a lot of guys in prison in and out because when they parole, they parole back to their neighborhood where they can't get help. And I think the first four months of our release is very critical. You know, we need to have foundation. And, uh, and uh, you know, like, uh, when I left the program and uh, well, when I was in the program, I started going to different uh, part of the uh, community and, and see what, you know, how I can help or how can I uh, be part of their community. And uh, <clears throat> they kind of, you know, like me just being around, knowing that, you know, how, you know, what I've been through. And, uh, and uh, also the parole uh, office, you know, they, they, they did a lot of good things for me as far as getting me involved with uh, doing community service. Uh, 
pro agent like uh, Ken Wong and uh, uh, Mitchell, uh, who else? Uh, uh, Chu and my pro agent uh, Jason Bailey is doing real good. You know, I know, you know his responsibility, and I know my roles. You know, and uh, I got a lot of respect for him. You know, he's, he's a good dude. But uh, yeah, uh, you know. To answer the last part of this question, ideal reentry plan, uh, I would say that uh, uh, each uh, prisoners who are getting ready to go out should have an access to get into the uh, transitional uh, housing program because uh, you know they got what we need, you know, to start our life out here. And that's something that uh, uh, it's not enough for everybody, you know. I did, you know, relate that message inside that, you know, you guys need to get into this program. And the problem is uh, I think our pro uh, office does not have enough money to provide uh, for the expense because it costs money to be in a program. You know, I was just very fortunate that Centerpoint program you know, pay for my stays in there. And, uh, you know, it was good. And uh, and another thing, uh, you know, if we really want to uh, reduce the recidivism, and since it's going to take a long time for the CDC to uh, bring rehabilitation back, I think we really need to get involved. You know, people out here in the community need to actually go inside and minister to, to the prisoners. And that's how I turn my life around, you know. And, uh, you know, I, you know, even though I have this education and vocational trade that, you know, I can be okay out here, you know, I, I had no hope and uh, I have nothing but animosity against people out here, you know. I had this, you know, belief that, man, you know, I'm just a rigid society, you know, nobody wants me, nobody going to respect me. But that was proven wrong when uh, I met a whole bunch of people, uh, you know, this is, these people are... Uh, former lawyer, doctors, judge, law enforcement, who bring uh, love inside the prison. And these people represent the community. You know, when I look at these people and realize what they've done to me, you know, like they represent everybody here. So when I got out and look at each person, I remember those people. You know, I, I have nothing but love and respect for them. So if we are really serious about helping prisoners and promote uh, safety, public safety, we need to get involved. We need to get involved. That's all I had to say. Thank you. Those were very thoughtful comments, Rico, and very important. And you brought up an issue, and if you'll indulge us one more minute, um, about residential programs and having them available for